Hello everyone, this is Amanda with Big Empress Energy. I am here to do a love reading for all those concerned with Taurus. So Taurus could be your sun, moon, or rising signs. Um, your Venus could be in Taurus, or you could be connecting with a Taurus. And if that is the case, just be aware that you might have to flip the roles. Um, and if this resonates with you, please like and comment to claim the reading. Um, subscribe to my channel as well if you like the way that I read. And let's go ahead and get started, Taurus. Oop, thought that was gonna come out. What can you tell me about Taurus's connection, please? Where are you guys are angels. Oop. Breaking point. Okay, so someone is hitting their limit. Um, it's possible that you are Taurus um, with the person that you've been dealing with. <laughs> um, um, also, another message that's coming in with this is, Taurus, if you are in a no-contact situation or in separation from your person, um, I see them hitting the limit in that. They are um, feeling like they're going to reach out, I think. All right. Yes. Okay. What I was picking up on uh, with this person hitting their limit um, with the no-contact situation, Taurus, is... I mean, they've been putting this mask on, they're pretending like this isn't bothering them, and it absolutely is. Um, so they're bluffing, for sure. What else can you tell me about Taurus's connection, please? What else can you tell me about Taurus's connection this time? What else can you tell me about Taurus's connection? What else can you tell me about Taurus's connection? It's possible, ooh. It's possible that you um, let this person go, Taurus, because of the mask, because of the um, pretending in one way or another to be something that they're not. Um, but we'll find out more. Emotional storm. Yeah, that ties right in with this breaking point. Um, this person put that mask on and is pretending like this isn't affecting them, and it absolutely is. Um, we have distracted, which just <laughs> further reinforces that for me. I think this person is probably distracted at work. I think they're distracted when they're with friends or with family. And I think people are noticing just how much this is affecting them, whether they're showing it to you, Taurus, or not. But I'm picking up that they're not showing it to you. Um, conflicted. Yeah. This person, um, yeah, I think they're fighting, like, like a head and a heart situation. Like, I feel like they're fighting, um... Their heart wants to come towards you and express how they feel and that they're not happy in this disconnect. But um, I think their head and possibly their ego is telling them not to do that. Um, but it's, it's also possible, I mean, that this person um, wasn't fair to you. They didn't prioritize this connection. I mean, you're disconnected from this person for a reason, Taurus. So that could be why. Um, it also could be the fact that this person has a really hard time controlling their emotions because that's what I'm seeing here is that this person, you know, they're, they're hitting that breaking point. They get overwhelmed and it's just, and it's just chaos. It's emotional chaos. Um, and, and clearly, um, I get that this person like probably like with that bluff and the mask card, I feel like they just, um, suppress their emotions so much that they hit a certain point and then it just kind of explodes. Um, yeah. They cannot stop thinking about you, though, though Taurus. Like, that, that is what's causing this distracted, um, yeah, just like this emotional chaos going on with them. That energy is the fact that they still have this attachment to you. They, they don't want to let you go. Um, very interesting. Yeah, this person is going through it, I think, Taurus, so... Bottom of the deck is fantasy. Yeah, they they are literally thinking about you all day long, is what I was picking up on. Like, they, I mean, and they're going back and forth. It's that, like, hot and cold. Like, they can't decide whether they should come forward or not. I don't know what this person did to you, Taurus, but I do know that they have a hard time um, controlling their emotions. So I could definitely see that being a part of what broke the two of you up. But they do love you. So if there was any question of that, I mean, they love only you. Um, but let's keep going, please. Guides and guardian angels. Yep, they're suppressing their emotions. That's exactly. They they suppress their emotions and 
And it's possible, I mean, it's possible that they don't explode, but they suppress their emotions until they, like, do something that makes them act out of character. Like, maybe they disappear, or they, they just totally ghost you, Taurus. Um, and they just don't, I mean, all of their problems are stemming from the fact that they don't express their emotions um, in a healthy way um, in the first place. So, I mean, not to play therapist here. <laughs> But I'm seeing that it's causing this person lots of problems that they're not up front with their emotions. I mean, they still love you. Um, with resistance, too, it's giving me, like, um, stubborn vibes. So this person, I think, is probably really stubborn um, when it comes to expressing their emotions, Taurus. Oh, <sighs> okay. Yeah, they know. Um, they know that they have to work through this. It's honestly, it's possible that this person is going to therapy for this. Um, but if nothing else, I think they're accepting that it's an aspect of their personality that they're going to have to work to change if they want only you, <laughs> if they want this connection with you. What else can you tell me, please, Spirit Guides and Guardian Angels? What else can you tell me about this person? It's really just, I mean, emotional immaturity, like being emotionally stunted. But I, I do see, I'm not really seeing that they, um, woo, I'm not really seeing that they, like, don't love you or that they, <clears throat> I imagine that um, them being emotionally stunted has caused issues and caused this separation between the two of you. But I, I don't know necessarily that they, like, don't appreciate you. I think that they do appreciate you. I think it's their own, like, emotional hangups that's stopping them. Yeah, they are exhausted in this separation like they are I mean they're hitting their breaking point like they're o they're completely overwhelmed they're going back and forth in their head it's causing them to just be like super distracted at work and with family and with friends and I just they're I mean they're just this like stubborn um energy I, they're hitting the end of that there's there's only so long they can keep up that that facade that this isn't affecting them because it absolutely is. Um, yeah. Okay. So it's totally possible, um, that this person, um, walked away from your connection instead of expressing how they were feeling with you. Um, and, and they didn't walk away because they didn't love you. They absolutely love you, Taurus, but I'm seeing that maybe this person, um, it's possible that they thought they could walk away from this connection and that it didn't mean as much as it did. And then now they're like unbelievably affected and they didn't see that coming. Um, but I also get Taurus that I think you, you know, accepted for what it accepted it for what it was and you are now trying to let it go. But this person is, they're so stubborn and they just, they, it's just you, like, you're the only one they want, so, yeah, I, I don't think they, I mean, I know they don't want to let you go, Taurus, so, what else can you tell me, please, spirit guides and guardian angels, what else can you tell me about, whew, about Taurus's connection, hmm, yeah, I mean, this person has really strong emotions, they have strong love for you, but they also have strong, um, chaotic emotions like like anger depression anxiety i see it all here um yeah and just being like overwhelmed um and this i, I mean i get that they're overwhelmed in the separation from you but i think they also have a lot going on in their life in general like a possible tower moment has happened what else please spirit guides and guardian angels what else can you tell me about Taurus's connection Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I'll start here. There it is. I mean, they're, they're holding back how they feel. They're pretending like it's not affecting them. And there's only so long you can do that. There's only so long you can resist. It's exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting. And I think this person is realizing that. And I think they're hitting that breaking point, um, where, where they're going to break the silence Taurus. So um, we also have Cloudy Judgment. Now, I don't know if you've seen <laughs> some of my other readings, but I use this card in this, um, this is a 78 card deck, just like the tarot, 
But um, I use this card as more of like my tower card, just because of the lightning bolts and the tower in the sky. It just it just gives me tower energy, and the unpa the unbalanced um, like delusional energy of this is exactly what the tower comes in to wipe out. So that's what I use this to represent. And I had just said that I think this person is either just coming out of a tower moment or they're nearing a tower moment. And that's that's what's going to break. That's that breaking point. Um, and that's exactly what this represents for me. Yeah, they're, they're, it's coming to a head now, Taurus. So if this person hasn't reached out, which I feel like they haven't, um, it's they're going to. They're going to once that tower moment hits. Yeah. I mean, they, they know, they know, um, they know that it's only you. They're only attracted to you. They only have this passion for you. Um, so if that was a concern of yours, Taurus, just know that they, it's, it's you. They want you. I mean, at this point, because they're not, um, speaking out, they're probably looking at your social media or if you have mutual friends, they're asking mutual friends about you. And it's, you know, it's like they're a secret admirer, but ultimately, um, ultimately it's just that, that they love you and they can't let you go. Um, yeah. And, and here as well, sometimes this card gives me the energy of someone like lurking on social media. So I really get that they, um, they're, they're lurking <laughs> and, and here's that wake up call. This is, this is that post tower clarity. <laughs> um, yeah, I think all of this is, um, ultimately helping this person grow. Like this could even be a twin flame separation because of the growth that's happening, um, while you're separated that I'm seeing here. Um, and I, and I see that, um, I, I see that like, this is going to bring them back to you. Like this isn't, this isn't finished what you two are sharing like that energetic tie is still very much there it's in the very heart of this reading so definitely could be a twin flame um but yeah i think this person is resisting their feelings um this could be that runner you know i'm getting that energy here but but there's only so long you can run you get exhausted you hit a breaking point and, and if you fight that, like, like at the heart of this reading is resistance, this person's stubborn nature. If you resist change, if you fight change, you get a tower moment every time because that's how the universe, um, clears up that like stagnant, stubborn energy. Like how else would you get it out? You know, the universe comes in and offers you blessings sometimes in really shocking and, um, and in seemingly bad ways, but, but they're, they're blessings because they get rid of that resistance. Um, and I just see that that's either coming in very soon for this person or has already come in. Yeah. Okay. They, they miss you. They want this with you. They want, um, I mean, you don't have to have wanted children or, um, whatever, or even discuss that, but I just see that they want that long-term fruitful, kind of love like the, the intimacy present here that um this card actually gives me like um ten of pentacles energy from the tarot you know like that card of legacies that card of building something for for generations to come for your generations to come your shared generations um and i just see that that i mean that's constantly on this person's mind to the point that it's draining them that they're hitting a breaking point but for whatever reason, they're just going back and forth in their head, being indecisive about it. And the universe is going to take care of that. 100%. Yeah, underneath that is spying. Sorry. <laughs> so they're, they're for sure spying on you, Taurus. Um, hopefully not in a creepy way. Hopefully that doesn't creep you out. But they're, they're keeping tabs on you. Um, and what I do see with this, I mean, for, this isn't going to resonate with all of you, but I do see that this could be someone that you were married to or had a child with. This could also be someone that you discussed blending families with. Like one of you is a, a parent or both of you are parents and you talked about bringing your families together to create one family. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I just, I definitely see that here. Yeah. One more message too, and I, this is really not going to resonate with all of you. Like this might only be like one of my viewers, but it's possible that this person, um, ran away from, um, a pregnancy 
that the two of you had. So that, uh, that's not going to resonate with all of you, but it's possible that, um, you know, they got pregnant or you got pregnant and ran away from the connection because of how intense it was getting. But they love you. They absolutely love you. Let's um, clarify with the tarot a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Spirit guides and guardian angels. What else can we talk about? Ooh, another message with that family card, by the way, uh, Taurus, is that um, it's possible that they left due to family. Like, like they ran um, due to things that maybe their family were saying or... Um, expectations that their family had that for whatever reason they felt their connection with you didn't fulfill but they're deeply regretting that now or it could be um you know an ex-partner like an ex-wife or ex-husband that they shared a child with or were building a family with um and um that interfered i'm gonna take this one and i'm gonna take this one all right very similar energy in these two cards here this so first message for this is that they're watching you from afar um that's really that i mean they they'd miss you but there's no movement in this card really he's he's not going anywhere he, and honestly it's giving me this silence energy like he's not speaking he's just watching you from afar um hoping that things happen hope without actually doing anything and i mean that's that's when a tower moment comes in. Um, and we have the chariot here. So this could definitely be um, a cancer that you're dealing with, Taurus. But it also um, give, it gives me twin flame vibes. Like, I, this really could be the runner. It, and it's giving me runner vibes, too. Um, this really could be the runner in a twin flame connection. But the way that these um, sphinxes are, are mirroring each other, oftentimes I'll get, in twin flame readings, oftentimes I'll get that as, like, confirmation. Um... But yeah, I mean, this person, <laughs> this is a strange message that I've never gotten with the chariot before, but it's like, this is this like hot and cold, like indecisive head and heart kind of thing. Um, that back and forth, like they can't pick a direction, like, cause both of these sphinxes are going, they're looking two different ways. And I just see like this person cannot pick a direction. Hmm. And another thing, another message, and this is not going to apply to all of you. But this card almost seems like they're at a distance, and and um, and the chariot can sometimes represent someone at a distance, someone that needs to travel to come towards you. This card as well, the three of wands, can represent you know needing to travel to come towards someone. So, very interesting. Um, at the very least, they are contemplating coming towards you. Um, it, if they haven't gone through this tower moment yet and gotten this realization, this wake up call, um, that is what's going to be the catalyst for them coming towards you, Taurus. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, um, male or female. It's just this energy, this, um, yeah, I mean, just like a fiery kind of personality, uh, someone who's a leader and just kind of takes what they want they go after what they want but again i mean wands are very quick like it's like the spark of a of a flame so they can leave just as quickly as they came and again it's like almost reinforcing that like runner energy for me what else please what else can you tell me about this connection please Woo. queen of wands you two are a divine pair for sure i mean whether you're fire signs or not um but i just see um this is your energy, male, female, any other gender, it doesn't matter, it's just energy. Um, the Queen of Wands is, is a very spiritual woman, she's intuitive, she's almost witchy. I always get that with the black cats, with the black cat and her wand. But she also prioritizes her own happiness. Like the sunflower represents the sun, she's looking towards the sun. She's not concerned with what others are doing, she's concerned with her own happiness. She's also incredibly attractive um, and charming and just a total catch, very independent. She doesn't need the King of Wands, but they balance each other out. And um, I definitely see, I mean, they are very attracted to you um, while you're in this energy, Taurus. They want to come towards you so badly. 
Um, but for whatever reason, they're holding back. I don't know if it's just the stubbornness. Maybe they have some other things in their life that they have to sort out, especially with this overwhelm, you know, and the emotional turmoil. Maybe, you know, if they are going to therapy, maybe that's what they're waiting on. Um, but yeah, yeah, look, there's them being held back. I don't, it's so strange. This is them holding back their, their, um, this is holding back the communication that they want to have with you. Um, but this is also them, you know, start beginning to hit that breaking point because this is overwhelming. There's only so long you can stay in this like self-imposed prison. Look what's underneath that, the Hierophant. So this is you, Taurus. This is your card. You could be dealing with another Taurus, but, um, Something that I get from this is it's possible that this person was in another commitment because of that family card. It's possible that this person was in another commitment and um, were super wishy-washy in terms of leaving that commitment to come towards you. Because you're coming out here single, independent, and very good-looking, Taurus. So, um, you know, this person would have had to break that... Um, commitment to come towards you and I think I think maybe they chose to be stagnant instead and the tower is going to come in and just wipe that out but this could also apply you know what I said about family like um families imposed um like restrictions like like the old traditions and like old expectations the hierophant has um so it's possible that, I mean, maybe they have overbearing parents that um, didn't like this connection for whatever reason, possible differences in religion or differences in career, you know, differences in, in anything, really. They just didn't approve of the, the connection. Now, this isn't going to resonate with all of you. Um, it could also be like a sibling, um, you know, who just, they, they, this person values their opinion um, but it's outdated and they don't have the whole view of this connection. Um, but yeah, I definitely see, I definitely see that these old institutions, these old beliefs, traditions, ways of doing things, this tower moment's going to come in and change that because, because this hierophant, this, you know, old traditions, old ways of doing things, tried and true structures, um, are, are putting this person in a prison basically, you know, their hands are tied, they're bound by this. It's not letting them grow as an individual. And that's when tower moments come in. So I, I see that happening. What else, please? Spirit guides and guardian angels for Taurus's connection. Boop. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So you are in this queen of wands energy Taurus. Now, this person, I mean, with that family card, this per there could definitely be children involved, like I said. Um, and this could represent a child, because the page is a very immature energy, you know. Um, but I also could see this representing this person. They didn't come to this, the, you know, I said they were emotionally immature. Um, and they didn't know how to express themselves emotionally. I see this person... Um, originally they sh before you two separated they showed up to this connection in a much um more immature uh energy than you did because you're a queen male or female you're a queen right now taurus so you are um royalty you're you're um showing up in that like leader energy and i just i mean they showed up as a page so they didn't really know what they wanted they didn't really um yeah, they, they weren't ready to express themselves or commit in the way that they needed to. It just, yeah, they just, they showed up really wishy-washy and indecisive. And, and, you know, you were like, I don't need that. I'm a total catch. Um, and so I, I just see, I see that could have been like the biggest um, part of why you two are in separation now. But it's breaking their heart. And this is that, I'm going to put that right here. This is that... Um, affected this emotional turmoil this emotional storm um this person i mean this really could have been someone who was in another commitment because of the three swords here it could be that third party situation and we have three three so that i mean that could that probably will apply to a few of you but um this in my opinion now is showing how much um this is actually affecting them under the surface they're not showing it 
they pretend um, they pretend like they don't have the emotions that they do for you. And I don't know if it is that hierophant and that outdated belief that like that's not how um, adults should act, that it makes you stronger to not show your emotions and to not express yourself. Um, but but that's, I mean, that tower moment's going to come in and just whoo, wipe that out. <laughs> um, but I see that, um, yeah, this person's heartbroken and they definitely pretend like they're not. They're holding themselves back from admitting how heartbroken they really are about this. Yeah, it very well could be ego. Very well could be ego. We have a lot of wands here. This definitely was... Um, you know, which is in line with the twin flame connection. It definitely was passionate. You had that chemistry card. You know, there were there was just a really intense spark. But again, with wands, sometimes they can be so intense that they leave just as quickly as they come. And and I get that energy here. Um, but you know, ego is definitely getting in the way, in my opinion. Um, those outdated beliefs. They think that they think that. Um, not expressing the way that they feel and what they truly want in a connection and being vulnerable makes them stronger. Um, but that's all ego and it's not true. And they're deeply affected by this, like deeply affected. And those beliefs are holding them back from getting what they really want. Um, but another thing, Taurus is this, I, I mean, this ties right in. They recognize that you are very attractive and that you have people that want that commitment with you. They want what this person didn't offer you. So they recognize that they're going to have to come in um, and, and, and uh, claim you. <laughs> they're going to have to come in and stake a claim in wanting a connection with you um, before someone else scoops you up because you're attractive. Um, and, and they know that they're not the only ones that think that. So that was another message that came through. What else can you tell me, please? Straight guides and guardian angels for Taurus's connection. What else can you tell me about Taurus's connection with this person? Boop. Knight of Cups. That's okay. Again, that is, I feel like they're watching you on social media and they're seeing how attractive you are. They're seeing that other people are, are there. You have other suitors. You have other people that want to come in and confess their feelings for you. Um, and I think they're hitting their breaking point in holding back from, from being like, no, don't date anyone else. I want you. Um, but another message with this Knight of Cups, I mean, that's, that's that, um, so this is their head. You know how I said this is like head over heart kind of decision making. So they flip back and forth like, no, logic tells me not to, you know, not to go after this person, but my heart is in pain without them. My heart is telling me to go after this person. So this is like the logic. This is like what their head is doing to them. And this is what their heart wants to do. So I, I see them, I mean, eventually they're going to come to, a, they're going to get that wake up call and they're going to come towards you and express how they're feeling, but they're just very emotionally immature and it's taking them a long time to get to that realization. So let's, let's see here. Yeah. I mean, they find you incredibly beautiful, sweet, nurturing. This, this is your energy, Taurus, very down to earth. Um, and another thing, I mean, we have two queens here. So this person really could have chose, um, because the queen of pentacles sometimes can represent a mother and it's possible, you know, or, or, or a father, you know, just a parent, somebody who nurtures. Um, but it's possible that, um, this person chose, uh, a parent of a child that they shared, um, over the connection that they had with you. Um, or it's possible again, that this is also you Taurus and, um, male or female, any gender, um, and, and you're a single parent. So I'm, it's, if that is the case, if that is your story, they, um, admire you as a parent so much, like they find you as, as a, just an incredible parent. So that's a message for some of you. What else please? Fake guys and guardian angels for Taurus's connection. What else do you tell me? Okay. Okay. I can't take all of these, but I, there's the Hierophant. I'll give you some of the messages. <laughs> um, okay, a couple things here. 
Now, part of what could be holding this person back is they feel as though they don't have enough. There's insecurities. Like, they feel as though um, they don't have enough money or they don't have a stable enough life. Like, they don't have a, a house or a car or, um, you know, especially with the chariot here, um, they just don't have enough to offer you and they don't understand because they find you so attractive and they know you have so many options in love. They don't understand what you see in them. And that's really insecurity. Um, and that's not going to apply to all of you, but, but I definitely was picking up on that to some degree and that's what they're working on, but they're definitely working on something Taurus. They don't want to come towards you, um, weak. They don't want to come towards you with, um, with nothing to offer, I guess, because there's, there is some deep insecurity there, in my opinion. Um, now we got justice in the wheel of fortune. So justice, you could be dealing with a Libra, um, because that's Libra's card. But I, ultimately I, what I see here is that that back and forth in their mind, that head over heart, um, is just, there's only so long they can do that. Like, like they're going to have to find balance in a decision. They're going to, you can't stay on the fence forever unless you want to just rip in half. Like you can't, it just doesn't work like that. And, um, I mean, this tower moment's going to see to that, whether they realize it or not. Um, but those scales are going to balance and there's only so long they can do that. Um, now with the wheel of fortune, this is telling me, um, that this person, okay, so here's another message with justice um, in the Wheel of Fortune. They just told me when I was doing that with the Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry. Um, so this person, if they did, like I said, put you, for those of you that resonated with the third party, um, if they did put you in a third party situation, this is this person's karma. Um, yeah, I mean, the fact that, they, that you are attractive and they have to watch you. Um, on social media, just winning and succeeding in life. Um, and, and you have all these people that are attracted to you, you know, and you have all these suitors and, and they just, you know, that's, that's their justice. That's your justice. That's their justice. Um, but another message that came through when I was saying that was this person could be, um, in, in prison. Now that is probably only going to apply to one of you, but the way that this person is held back, um, they, I mean, they really could be in prison, like getting like actual legal justice, criminal justice. Um, now with the wheel of fortune, this just further, um, confirms for me that this is a divine connection. This is a divinely guided connection. Um, definite twin flame vibes here. Um, but I just see that, um, I mean, this person, there's such an energy of, of waiting for something like either like waiting for, um, waiting for more money or more financial security before they come to you, having more to offer than just a cup of love, those kinds of things. Um, this is, I mean, it just gives me timing energy. Like, like this is happening in divine timing and no, they haven't come towards you yet, but, um, the timing of this tower moment needs to happen. Therefore the time so that when the tower moment happens, they get this realization and this wake up call. And then once that happens, they come towards you and, and it's just divine timing. Like it's just some faded circumstances that have to happen in order for this person to break out of this like prison that they're in literal or emotional. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I just, it's just further confirmation for me that this is a divine connection. Now the last two cards, <laughs> the Hierophant again, um, and the Ace of Cups. Now, Taurus, again, this is you. This is your card. Um, but I just really see um, this person wants that commitment with you, and they've been going back and forth in their head um, about coming towards you. Or it's possible they really can't come towards you because of a commitment, because of prison, because of a million other circumstances, rehab, anything. <laughs> you know, they're, um, maybe, maybe you really are at such a distance from this person that they have to save money to be able to even come towards you and express these feelings in the way that they want to. Um, but I just see that this is love. This is commitment. And they do want that with you. I mean, they might even want to come towards you and get married if that's something that you want or have discussed. Um, this could also be, you know, let's move in together or let's make this thing official. You know, I, I just see this person um, 
they're gonna realize that you're the one, Taurus. They really are. Um, but it's gonna take that tower moment to really, you know, break them out of this prison. Um, yeah. Uh, they totally could have betrayed you, Taurus. A hundred percent they could have betrayed you. Now, here's something interesting. So, these two cards, um, the Hierophant makes this symbol with his fingers, right? And this man actually makes the same symbol because it represents um, faith that, that things can only go up from here. Um, and, and new light is dawning. You know, the sky isn't completely black. It's the dawn of a new day. This, this day is dead and gone, and although it was horrible and there was betrayal and just all of the worst possible circumstances, things are finally looking up. And, and um, I, I mean, I just think it's funny that you got both of those cards, for one. But I do think that um, whatever this was, this cycle is coming to a close. And I really, I do see that this is, if they're not in this position already, Taurus, I see that, um, you know what, I don't think they are, because they're still in the Eight of Swords. But this is what's coming. This is what that Tower moment is going to be. Literally everything in their life is going to wipe out and end so that they can start over and come to the realization that they they want to be with you Taurus they want to give you that cup of love they want to bring you something solid they want to build something real with you but anyways Taurus this is what I have for you I hope this resonated and I hope you liked it um, if it did resonate please like the video or comment um, because it just I have a really small channel and I'm trying to grow it so every little like every comment every new subscription I notice I love you guys so much I'm so grateful um, and and I I just love to hear from you guys too so um, definitely do that if it resonated with you and um, thank you so much Taurus for being here with me um, if you'd like a personal reading with me I have a link in the description box below to my email um, also, you can just, you know, reach out to me on Instagram. I've, my Instagram will be in the description box below as well. Um, but anyways, thank you, Taurus. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.